Hello. This is a very old story and it was shared with me by Misk from Gaza. So thank you, Misk, for this story. Once there was a fox and the fox was clever and the fox was beautiful. He had little foxy ears, a lovely foxy nose and best of all, a big bushy tail that he waved and he was happy. Foxy always knew where to get the best food. He knew that to wait until the farmer had gone to sleep and then he would dig underneath the chicken wire and come and get the chickens and leave with a nice dinner. He could wait until a fat pigeon flew down from the tree and when it was walking up and down showing off its beautiful feathers again the fox would get it and eat it it could wait the fox by the hole of a little mouse for one hour two hours even three hours very patient and when the mouse came up out of its hole there was fox ready to pounce beautiful clever and a little bit big headed fox didn't just like meat he also liked fruit and so one day when he was running back home he looked up by a river and he saw a beautiful big bunch of grapes purple full of juice they look so sweet and gorgeous <makes noise> mr fox wanted the grapes right now but the grapes were high and the fox was quite small and he he jumped up couldn't get them so he took a run up and he ran and he ran and he ran and he jumped up almost got them his little nose just brushed the edge of them this time he would definitely get those grapes a big breath one two three jump in the air once again he missed he wasn't used to not getting his own way and he looked up at the grapes and he said, I didn't want to eat you anyway. I bet you're dry and tasteless and sour. Horrible sour grapes. Bleh. And he ran off. But his tail was not sticking up beautifully. It was down between his legs. And as Misk says at the end of that story, and as the great Aesop who wrote the story tells us, sometimes... When we cannot get what we want, we pretend that we never wanted it anyway, just like Mr. Fox. Thank you.